Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Lawn Care Ninja uh, video. This one I'm really excited about. Uh, I hope this is going to be able to help you uh, even like right now and all throughout this year. Uh, this is just something that I use uh, every single week uh, just to kind of, you know, keep making sure that my uh, per man hour rate that I'm hitting that goal. Uh, you know, just because if I'm if I'm doing a yard or a group of yards and I'm not hitting my per man hour rate uh, target, then I'm not going to be making the kind of money that I should be making. You know, while out doing uh, lawn mowing uh, and e even cleanups and you know all all this other stuff that you know you write your time down on. If this is something you're interested in using, you definitely need to make sure that you're writing your time down on every single property. Uh, uh, no matter if it's like a five minute pr a property, uh, a 60 minute property, whatever it is, you need to make sure that you're writing your time down because that's the only way you're going to know uh, how much money you're uh, generating per hour while you're on that yard. So I have two uh, calculators that I use. I'll go ahead and leave uh, links in the, in the description below uh, for both of them. They're both pretty much the same. The only difference is the one for mowing. The per man hour rate that I have is $85 per man hour. Uh, the one for cleanups and, you know, leaf, leaf removal jobs, that's going to be $110 per man hour rate. So they're pretty much identical, but those are the only two things that, uh, that are different. All right, so the first thing that's going to happen is when you click into it, uh, it's going to load up and I created a little pop up to be able to let you know that you need to either make a copy, uh, download it uh, onto your computer to use it in like Microsoft Excel, uh, just because since this is going to be shared with so many people that if you were to actually uh, edit this file yourself and think that you have all your numbers in there and then you were to come back to it like a week later, it could all be overwritten because people have, you know, might have done that as well thinking that oh I can just edit this I don't need to make a copy or anything like that uh, so this this little pop-ups gonna always show up and uh, just dismiss it um, so yeah basically here it is uh, right here we have minutes to perform this is you know when you're clocking in and out this is you know obviously gonna be your uh, clock in time to your clock out time for here, we have the uh, number of people. You know, if you have one guy on your crew, two guys, three guys, four guys, and so on. Uh, total time, basically, this is going to take your minutes to perform and multiply it by however many people are on your property. So if we come here and if we change that to three, you'll see it jumped up to 129. Here is the price. This is the price, you know, obviously for mowing or for your cleanup or whatever. These columns right here, you're not supposed to edit. And I did create a, a protected region. So if you were to try and come up in here and like edit it, this is going to pop up and show you that, hey, you're, th this is something you're not supposed to edit because I have the way I have it set up is to actually be a formula. And you don't want to replace that formula with like just, uh, you know, a random number. So we'll hit cancel because we don't want to change it. So your per here's your per man hour rate. Uh, this is also a protected column if we were to change it. And over here is also a protected column. So if we were to change this, I also have, you know, like little uh, pop-ups, you know, sh showing or telling you, you know, what, what the column is for. So here, if we were to try and shoot for an uh, $85 per man hour rate, this is going to tell us what we need to charge based on minutes to perform and the amount of people that were on the property. So you can see right now, my per man hour rate uh, for this job is $117.21. I need to charge $60.92 to hit that $85 per man hour. So if we were to change this to 60, 92, you can see it kicked it out as exactly 85 and as you can see here on these uh the, the red and green 
Uh, I set it to where it's going to be green if you're at 85 or above. If you're uh, 85 or below, or if you're below 85, it's going to turn red. So that way you can easily see uh, if, if you're in the green or if you're in the red. So if we were to change the amount of people here to two, based on this price of $84, you can see that our permit hour rate dropped down you know quite a bit essentially you know in half and it's well below our uh goal of 85 dollars per man hour and you can also see when we did that this number over here changed because since we've added another person on that property that's going to the way this is that's going to you know tell us hey this is what you need to charge based on your minutes and how how many people were on that property working this is what you need to charge to hit that goal of $85 per man hour so if we were to change this to let's just say is 125 so you can see we're at $87 and 21 cents for for that yard so yeah just as you're like using this you know just and enter in your uh, own time however many people are on the property the only ones that you're gonna want to change are uh, B C and e as we're looking at this you know if you can only increase your permit hour rate if you increase your price or if you become more efficient on the property so right now we're about seven dollars off of uh our our price for what we need to hit for uh 85 dollars per man hour but let's change this down to let's say if we shave like uh, eight minutes off of our time so it's 25. So now all of a sudden our per man hour rate is $96 uh, for that one property just by shaving, you know, eight minutes. A, lo a lot of these that I have down aren't actual, aren't, aren't my actual numbers. They're just ones that I just kind of like threw at it just to kind of show you guys the uh, difference between, uh, you know, the amount of time it can take you and basically like your pricing, if your pricing is, is too low, like you're going to know right away if, if it's too low and you need to up those prices. You can, you can see right here, if we have one yard, it takes us 26 minutes and we're only charging $20 to, to do that lawn. Like our per man, our rate is, is $46. That's, you know, that's going to be way too low. I've always heard that it was said, you know, at least a dollar a minute. So if that's the case, you know, it should be, you know, a, our per man hour rate should be uh, a minimum of 60 per man hour. My first year, I was 60 per man hour. My second year, I tried to shoot it up to 75. And like I said earlier, I hit that mark uh, almost every single week. There were a couple of weeks, you know, where uh, the grass was too long. You know, it might have rained the, the night before. And, uh, you know, so those are anomalies that, you know, you're, you're going to run into. And you need to make a, a note of that as you're, you know, filling this stuff out so you can start to see a little bit of consistency in, in your times and, you know, your permit hour rate. If we do a $17 price increase, so now all of a sudden it's 37, we're just barely making over our, you know, permit hour rate of $85. If that seems to be like, you know, too much for you, you can try and shoot your permit hour rate you know, for, for 65, 70, even, you know, $75. So let's drop this down to 33. So now we're at $76 and 15 cents. That might seem uh, a little more reasonable for a price for your customers. So if you're kind of struggling, you know, with, with pricing, um, either become more efficient at, at your job or, you know, you need to, to up the price. Um, if you're not profitable, uh, on a property, you know, those are the only th two things that you can do. If you can't become more efficient on that property and they're not okay with a price increase, think about cutting them loose and, you know, filling in that spot with a property and a client that, you know, is going to uh, pay you more, uh, be respectful of the time and, and effort and energy that you put into, uh, you know, making their lawn beautiful. So if you want to change this to, uh, you know, fit your needs, you know, whether your permit hour rate is uh, 60, 70, 80, even, you know, 90 or $100, uh, this is going to, uh, this, this is how you're going to be able to do that. So basically you just click on one of these columns and over here you have uh, the formula. 
So if we wanna change this to have a per minute hour rate of 70, we just delete that 85 and hit 70. And again, this is a protected area. So this, this will pop up every time unless you check this box. We'll check it, we'll click okay. That dropped our charge that we need to charge them you know, down quite a bit because obviously our per minute hour rate is, you know, considerably less than, uh, you know, the $85. So you're gonna, if, if that's what you need to do, your per minute hour rate is 70, that's what you need to do for every single one of these columns. You just go down the list and change it to 70 all the way down. And then here you can change, you know, that to, 70 per man hour. This this column you don't need to change at all. The only one you really need to change if your per man hour rate is different is uh, this column on the, the far right. I'd like to show you the calculator for uh, cleanups. Uh, it was about three or four weeks ago and I was watching a YouTube short video and the company had asked, uh, based on eight and a half man hours, there were two guys at the property, they charged $320 for that cleanup. And they wanted to ask the community how much uh, they would charge or how much we would charge uh, for that same job. Uh, so with with those numbers, uh, eight, eight and a half man hours, that's uh, 510 minutes, uh, 255 minutes for two guys at the property. A lot of the comments, in, you know, were saying, you know, oh, 400, 500, 600, uh, there might've been like a 700 in there. Uh, I responded, you know, based off of, you know, the time that they gave me, how many people were on the property, you know, I responded how much, you know, I would charge for a job like that. So as you can see right here, 255 minutes, two guys, is 510 minutes that's eight and a half man hours their price uh for that job 320 you can see their per man hour rate was 37 dollars and 65 cents like that to me that just seems like way too low how can you uh properly pay your employees your business yourself uh afford you know uh new equipment new trucks new mowers blowers uh aerators like all this stuff if that's what you're making uh per man hour other people that were commenting you know 400 like there's their uh per man hour rate 500 there's their per man hour rate 600 and then 700 and then i said uh you know my minimum would be 900 dollars, but for me to hit my per man hour rate i would need to be you can see over here 935 dollars uh so just based off of uh you know something like that alone like, I just couldn't imagine, you know, thinking that, you know, making less than $40 per man hour on a job is sustainable for, you know, businesses like ours. You know, if we did become a little bit more uh, efficient at jobs like that, you know, like, let's say, you know, it took two guys, mm, like 235 minutes. So we saved, you know, 20 minutes or 40 minutes, you know, total for, uh, you know, two guys. So saving 40 minutes, like you, you can see immediately, like how much that bumped up our per man hour rate, you know, just saving that little bit of extra time, you know, even coming up to this first one, if we were to do 235, you know, still it's, it's, you know, not that big of a jump, but in reality, those three extra dollars, if you were to, you know, take that over the course of all the jobs you do over the course of a year, like that's so much money that you're just like leaving out there that you're not making, that you're not charging customers right for. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this took me a lot of time and a lot of research to uh, actually put this together for myself. Uh, but once I did and I started seeing, you know, the kind of money I could be making on properties, like it was just a game changer, you know, like if, if you know, $24 a, uh, a cut and, you know, my per man hour rates like only 50 
like I'm not going to be making money on that property and just being able to see that and have it update and, and calculate and all that stuff and tell me what I need to charge. Like that's, it, it was a game changer, uh, for me in, uh, especially in my first year, but more so in my second year, because, you know, in my second year, I raised my rates, uh, my third year, I raised my rates and, you know, it's just a nice way to, you know, gauge your, uh, productivity on, on the yards that you're at. Let me know down in the comments what, uh, the per minute hour rate is there that, uh, you guys are trying to hit. Uh, you know, whether it's your uh, first year, uh, second, third, or 10th year, uh, you know, if are, are you keeping your per man hour rate steady? Have you ever tried, you know, thinking about increasing it all? Uh, like I said, for me, first year was 60, uh, second year was 75, and this year it's going to be 85. Next year, who knows what it's going to be, you know, based on, you know, what the economy and, uh, uh, supply chain and equipment prices and you know fuel prices do also let me know if this is something that you uh, you, you would utilize uh, quite honestly uh, it's it's you know gonna be free for you so you know download it make a copy and uh, you know just just try it out for a day or you know even a week and just kind of see you know what your prices are if you found this video useful uh, go ahead and leave a like on the video I'd really appreciate it uh, also if you're not subscribed why don't you go ahead and think about subscribing it's free and uh, I'm gonna be doing more videos like this uh, to hopefully help you guys learn more about uh, you know kind of the the numbers I'm not a pro at it by any means but you know just having something like this early on in uh, you know my business has just been incredibly uh, useful for me. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.